festive America. It's Thanksgiving in America when families gather together to express their love for each other. Thanksgiving Day patriotism and for the Christians ideals of salvation and everlasting life. The three children ages three to eight of Emiliano and Lucinda Gonzalez were gunned down with American submachine guns in three pools of blood in their yard because their parents were said to be communists that belonged to the Che Guevara Agricultural Cooperative in El Salvador, Montalesco village near the border with Guatemala. Lucinda and Emiliano were taken to the village police station where she was raped 12 times by the security staff there to protect the villagers and Emiliano was hanged after the hour and a half of torture in which all his fingernails were torn out with pliers underneath his screaming. Then he was suspended by his ankles over a tub of urine and feces saved for the purpose from the bodies of the same 12 security force all members. Finally, since he was strangling upside down, they decided to put him out of his misery and they hanged him. The children's bodies were thrown into the huge garbage bin. The two lieutenants in charge, Manuel Rosanda and Eduardo Tarrito, had been trained at America's School of the Americas at Fort Benning, Georgia, School of the Assassins, where over 22 years, 36,000 Latin American youth were trained in the methods of violence, of killing whatever, to stabilize the towns and village where they were stationed. They were trained in dozens of torture methods, surveillance, assassination of leadership, leadership of the country, of unions and schools, of churches, and always the leadership, but always and only in a good cause. In those 22 years, 28,462 villagers, men and women, were murdered in El Salvador all members of popular organizations that were outside corporate work controls. The number of children murdered from the ages of three to 14 years, three weeks to 14 years, were estimated by the CIA in an internal memo to have been 19,640 persons, but only as a measure to control communism. In those 22 years, American families who believed in God, paid their taxes, and slept with their spouses had 22 Thanksgivings, all with plenty of cranberry sauce, turkey gravy for the mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pies Grandma made, the way she always did. They considered themselves to be living in the most wonderful country in the world. On the average, in America's villages of five to 15,000 people, about 150 knew sort of where El Salvador was. During those 22 years, not one citizen in these American towns knew such stories as this one about the extermination of the peasant Gonzalez family in the Che Guevara Farm Cooperative in Montalisco near the Guatemala border on America's Thanksgiving Day. November 28th, 1998. Across most of America's Midwest, it was a beautiful, cloudless day, a perfect Thanksgiving day for which many prayers were offered up by devout preachers and fathers. It was not possible to bury the three Gonzalez children that month because their bodies had just disappeared. Such murders of whole people has happened over one million times since 1978, somewhere in South or Central America, and we know nothing about it. September 2000.